Come ride with me It's time to saddle up right away There's so much to see Don't worry, I know the trails, I know the way Helmets, brain buckets um, I had a comment in, in one of the other videos on uh, how helmets should always be worn and, and I thought this would be a, a good video to do kind of a short one but just some of my thoughts on that uh, first of all I'm absolutely not anti-helmet I would never discourage anybody from wearing them uh, my insurance requires that anyone under 18 that rides with me must have one my kids ride with one uh, when I was riding race horses and all I rode with one and I really wouldn't have any issue uh, I'm, I've got a few English horses that I'll be riding here before long and and I'll wear a helmet when I ride those horses um, that being said I really feel like horsemanship is the first line of defense in keeping you safe around horses um, so, so definitely don't let this video come off as me being anti-helmet. I'm just, just throwing some food for thought out there for you. Um, so I had a niece that was in a very bad horse wreck and, and actually wound up cracking her helmet. And uh, I mean, she had a concussion. She has no, no memory of that wreck. And uh, that helmet very possibly saved her life or, or saved her from trauma. Um, but... What was the root cause of the wreck? The root cause of the wreck was that her pony was not broke, not close to broke. Um, I had a lady that I was an acquaintance with, and I've told this story several times back in college, a buddy of mine worked for her, that was in the habit of feeding treats to her horses by hand. She'd go out in the pasture among the brood mares. You'll notice, uh, my tent safety rule on my barn safety rules is no hand feeding or treating of horses. That lady had a horse go for the sugar cubes in her pocket and bit her breast off. A helmet would not have helped her. Um, I had another friend that got a hip broken. They were leading an unruly horse. Their horse spoiled. No, no manners or anything like that through a gate. The horse came crashing through the gate, ran the lady into the gate post and broke her pelvis. A uh, helmet would not have helped her. Uh, a helmet is the padding for the crash. Horsemanship is not having the crash in the first place. Uh, that guy wanted to take me to task a little bit. I'm, I'm generally wearing a cowboy hat. And I'm not just doing that for the videos. I know some of the videos I have a ball cap. And when I'm more relaxed and not, not working so much, I tend to put the ball cap on. But when I'm riding outside, I have a big hat on all the time. For me personally this is a safety feature. I had a barber that actually found a, a spot on me uh, behind my ear. It's, it's, it's not skin cancer or anything but it was a bit of a wake-up call for me and I personally I've been loads of hours in the sun um, and I really feel like skin cancer is probably a more likely threat to me than head trauma so this is a safety feature for me. Um, so just keep that in mind. Way more people are going to have a head trauma uh, in reality in a car wreck, but you don't ever see these, these equestrians driving up to shows with helmets on in the car. Uh, lots more people are going to die of heart disease, but you don't see them running around shows handing out oatmeal in the south, right? Um, more people are killed by cows and falling coconuts than sharks every year, yet people tend to be a hell of a lot more scared of sharks. Uh, so, again, part, part of the whole premise of my channel is to get you to, to think and use your brain because that seems to be in short supply these days. So, is head trauma a possibility with horses? Of course it is. Is a helmet uh, the major safety fee that feature that you can have? I don't think so. I, I think horsemanship is having your horse respectful, uh, setting things up in a manner that they're successful, not taking unnecessary risks. Uh, some of these horses that I see these kids riding around on, you know, damn right they need a helmet, they need a vest, they should look like the Michelin man with all the padding they should have. Those things aren't the answer. 
fixing the horse and making that thing respectful and under control is the answer. So there's my little rant for the day. Again, I'm not anti-helmet. By all means, wear a helmet if you feel like you need one. I, I think you know. I also believe as an adult that should be your choice. I'm not gonna proselytize to you, but but kids, I definitely think should be wearing one. Um, but horsemanship. That's what's going to really keep you safe. And again, head trauma is nearly the only injury that you can have from a horse. We don't have, uh, you know, people proclaiming all these other sorts of things. So uh, just use your brains. Um, there's, there's definitely always going to be a certain percentage of the population that's going to be into that safety sally. Uh, mentality and if you're one of those don't bother commenting I, I don't want to hear it you're absolutely not going to change my mind life is hazardous to your health there is a certain amount of risk that we all have to take or you know you're not really living so just accept your risk and go on about life but there's no need to harp on it do things as safely as you can practice good horsemanship enjoy yourself thank you much